So now the third part of it, it says we have a motor car and it is moving with a velocity of 108 km per hour. So now in this case we can understand that the initial velocity would be 108 km per hour. Now in this case we need to convert it into meter per second first of all. And in 1 km how many meters are there? 1000. And in 1 hour how many seconds are there? 3600. So two zeros get cancelled, 10 can be reduced with 5 and 36 can be written as 18. So now we will be like dividing 108 with 18 first. So it would form 6 here and 6 into 5 would be 30, 30 meter per second. So u in this case is 30 meter per second and the final velocity would be 0. Why it is 0? As the brakes are applied, it has been in state of stationary. It would be at rest, that means. And how much time it is taking? 4 seconds. U is there, V is there, T is there. Then what would be the mass of it? Mass of masses, they are saying approximately 1000 kg and try to find the force. Obviously, we can use this formula. M in bracket V minus U divided by T. So, M in this case is 1000. V in this case is 0, U in this case is 108 and divided by time which is 4. So you get 1000 times minus 108 divided by 4. So 4 can be cancelled with 1000 so it will become 500 and 2 will get cancelled with 500 it will become 250. So now multiply 250 with minus 108 so it would be nothing but minus 7500 newton that would be the force exerted by the brakes on the motor car